to say something about, about uh, names. So uh, there's a book which I'm writing, and I've written something about uh, names. People don't know that the rest of us also had a struggle with names. Uh, and because most of us were jealous when we had people are called nice names like John, George, uh, Elizabeth, Mary, and uh, you know, you, you are called, uh, you don't have any of those names. So one time I, t I told you the idea of uh, Jennifer, and then I dropped it. <laughs> so, it, it never stuck. And uh, all of us, except for Raila, all of us at one time or another, it took on some uh, European names, but we were too shy to let our parents know. So Oburu, I don't know whether they'll forgive me, but Oburu, when he was in Pehil, he was called John Dennis. He wanted, he wa he wanted, he wanted to, uh, to impress his friends. Yeah, he wanted to impress his friends, I think even girls, especially girls. So Agola was called uh, Barak Buka. Uh, and then my sister Beryl was called Jane Alice when she was in Nyakach Girls. But later her, she went to uh, St. Francis in Mangu and she changed religion. She became, uh, she became uh, a Catholic and then got baptized as Beryl. So that's her real name. And the other did not need to take on any name because she was named after Ruth first. Yeah, so that is her, her name. So then later on, uh, the, these three people were baptized, Raila, Oburu, and my father. The Lady of Maria people came and baptized them. My father was called Nicodemo Ginga. <laughs> and then, and uh, Raila was called Joshua. Raila. <laughs> and Obu, Oburu was called uh, Caleb. <laughs> so mine was the most dramatic because when I was going to Kenya High School, uh, Mrs. Uh, the Caroline, Caroline Okelo Dongo, I was, she was an African American, but she was also my father's uh, PA, and she took me shopping. So when we went back to the house, at that time it was called Cabernet Gardens. No, it was called Acha Gardens, the present day Cabernet Gardens. So he looked at the list of the school and he said, I don't want these names. When you take her to school, can you cross these names? And he took a piece of paper and said, her real names are Wenwa, Opo Asawe, Opo Ondo, Oginga. So I, I, I didn't think he was serious. Then I go to Kenya High School, and when we finished at the principal's, the principal's office, she took out that piece of paper and said, I want to change her name. I so my name was quickly removed because I didn't tell you that the name I was using was different. Before I went to Maseno Girls, I, I called Raila Noburu and asked them, what name should I take? And then they quickly had a meeting and said the name Roslyn. And I've never had such a sweet name. Uh, it was so sophisticated, so nice. So I think everything, I was called Rosalie Nakini. In Maseno, everybody there knew me as Rosalie Nakini. So even when I went to Kenya High School, my, my admission papers had the name Rosalie Nakini. Then my father uh, went and checked, it was being, I mean, my name was changed. So can you imagine? Kenya High School at that time was really, uh, what do you call it? It was a typical colonial school. You know, there are all these school rules, there are uh, table manners, uh, respect your elders, uh, uh, you know, the, the pudding, you know, with custard and trickle tarts and I don't know what, jam tarts. And you can imagine that's, and that environment is where I went with a name like Wenwa Opondo Akini Oyenga. <sighs> It was, I have never been so embarrassed. And the, and the class teacher, whenever she was reading the register in the morning, she, when she reached my name, she would start. Wenwa, Asewe, Opondo, and then she would pause, yeah? And then continue, so that everybody started laughing. Can't imagine what I went through. And all my friends were having nice names, Agnes, Gladys, uh, Jane, uh, you, know, uh, you know, sweet, sweet names. So later, much later, I managed to drop some of the names. So I stayed with Wenwa, Akini, Odinga, you know, much later, I managed on my own way to. So 
we also had our own struggles, but he did not mean that he hated English names or English culture. It was just not our culture, full stop. So uh, what I, want, I want to stop there. I'm writing a book. Some of these things are in that book, so later on you will be able to read, if at all it is ever published. Yeah, uh, so, but my mother died almost 10 years ago. Uh, that is in November, tw November 1984, ten, almost 10 years before. So she's going to be uh, uh, 10 years in November this year. They met at a sports ground called Miguena in Sakwa, a traditional sports ground for Luos from all over Nyanza. And she was a, a pretty girl, and she was uh, outrunning all the other girls, and he fell in love with her. And later on, he managed to get her. So I just want to request that, please, our political leadership, can you people do something about Miguena? Can you uh, develop Miguena yeah, to bring it up maybe into a modern stadium or, uh, you know, uh, a cultural stadium? And that's all I want to ask. And thank you.